What's up guys? I'm DK Wrestler and in today's video I'm going to be giving you guys a top 5 list of Dungeons and Dragons Funko Pops. Now this definitely is a perfect time because of the fact that this week will be the release of the Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves movie hitting theaters. And for this top 5 list I had considered pops from the games portion of the Dungeons and Dragons lineup, the movies portion of the Dungeons and Dragons lineup, and the recently announced NFT pops. So enough of my blabbering, let's move Move over to my number five pick. So coming in at number five on my list, it is the Owl Bear that was a legendary pop for the NFT set. And for those certain people out there, yes, this is actually a Funko Pop. This isn't just a card with a digital art form. This pop is pretty cool. I like the whole idea of owl bear and how it is basically you know like a bear like body but with an owl's face i know a little bit about dungeons and dragons but not too much to an extent but i really like the overall design of this with the detail of the fur and obviously like i mentioned the owl like face there are a couple of gripes involving this pop which is why i put it at number five one of them being the fact that this is in a sideways box which always kind of bothers me but i guess it's understandable because of the way that they had to display the box i think this would have been better as a six inch form and then having it in the normal way of the box but because the nft pops are all four inch pops the only way you were able to display the body as terms to a four inch pop is in the sideways pose and i also felt with a pop like this it could have went higher if it was a flocked figure Coming in at number four on my list, it is the Aceric, which was the Grail Pop for the NFT lineup. Now, this thing has a lot of detail. I really love the detail as terms to the teeth and how it kind of has a green tint to it. You got the big purple eyes, both, you know, on the outer part and kind of the pupil where it's a light purple. The skin is a really light purple. And then kind of what's going on with the head sculpt also where it's looking like it's wearing some sort of helmet. I can't exactly tell. And then the staff in itself. It's a really detailed figure. I think what could have made this pop go higher up on the list is if it was a glow in the dark pop. I noticed that in the actual art form of the NFT card, if you were to have obtained the grail pop of this, that the eyes actually glow in that art form. So I wish they would have made this pop glow in the dark, but every NFT pop has not had a specification as of yet, and I don't know if they will have. A specification as turns the pots when you redeem it and have it in your hands so for now maybe in the future they'll do some sort of other version and make a glow in the dark but for right now i still think it is one of the better dungeons and dragons funko pops in the set coming in at number three on this list it is the blue gelatinous cube that was exclusive to WonderCon 2023 which was this past weekend now i've always been a fan of the way that the gelatinous cube pops you have the original one that was green and it was just so unique and different compared to a lot of Funko Pop moldings and then they redid it again with the normal version and the glow in the dark version where basically you have the skeleton head along with basically a full on body that is stuck in the cube instead of just the head with a shield and a sword like the original one and I also like the detail where you have the arrows through the cube and the hand is on its way out as if it were to actually escape the gelatinous cube so I do really enjoy enjoy how they really improved this pop compared to the original one which is still a great looking pop and for this in case you guys are wondering I have the non-glow version just because I don't necessarily think it needed to be glow but the glow in the dark version is a nice touch especially since it was a con only pop at WonderCon. Coming in at number two on my list it is the six inch Tiamat that was exclusive to New York Comic Con in 2021. I really enjoy the whole design involving this where you have basically five different heads on this dragon, especially with the different colors like green, blue, red, black, and white, while the main color is still red for the body. And I don't own this pop, but I do have a pop similar to that, which is the five-headed dragon from the Yu-Gi-Oh! lineup, which that dual monster from Yu-Gi-Oh! is actually based off of this monster from Dungeons and & Dragons. And I mean, the detail involving the scales with the different heads for the dragon 
are really awesome and I love the Dungeons and Dragons pops that Funko have made where they all come with a D20 dice. Some of them don't, but some of them do. Example, this one being one of them that comes with a really nice green die, which I think is pretty cool. And I also like the detail of the different color eyes that kind of pop out from whatever color it is. So obviously with the green head, you have yellow eyes. And then you have the light blue to go with the dark blue or the dark blue to go with the white. I think they did a really excellent job. And I know that this was definitely one of those sawed after pops because even people who aren't entirely a fan of Dungeons and Dragons really enjoyed this pop and wanted to add it to their collection just because of how detailed the pop is. So that kind of says something and definitely is one of the best Dungeons and Dragons Funko Pops. But before moving on to my number one pick, I'm going to mention three honorable mentions for this top five list. So the first honorable mention I'm gonna be talking about is the Vecna 2 pack that was exclusive to New York Comic Con in 2022. Now you're probably thinking, why are you making this an honorable mention? And there's a couple of reasons why it's an honorable mention and not in this top five list. Now the first reason, and it's more of the positive, is the fact that I actually like the molding of this Vecna in this two pack compared to the singular one they made that was a GameStop exclusive. I just like that green pose and especially what they're doing for the positioning of the hands compared to the original one where basically it almost looks like the arms are kind of to the side. It's not really doing anything, but of course the reason it's an honorable mention and not on the list is because it does feature the Vecna from Stranger Things because it's more of a crossover between Stranger Things and Dungeons and Dragons for this two pack. And and the fact that the Vecna from Stranger Things did not turn out well in Funko Pop form. So it's kind of that factor bringing this pop down, even though Vecna not only was a popular character in Stranger Things, but is a popular character in the Dungeons and Dragons board game. So I wanted to make it a mention because of the Vecna pop from Dungeons and Dragons, but it brought it down because of the Stranger Things version. The second honorable mention I have on this list is Xanathar, which was exclusive to FunCon in 2021. This thing has a lot of detail. I mean, you got the one eye on the body with those crazy looking teeth that are partially dirty, or not really partially dirty, really dirty. And then you have the different color eyeballs that I think are really cool. And I like the color choice for the D20 dice that is featured where you have yellow, while the main color is more of a bluish color. So it kind of stands out very well. And then my last honorable mention is the green gelatinous cube that was exclusive to Emerald City Comic Con in 2020. And there's lots of factors to why it made it as an honorable mention and not on the exact top five list. First off, this pop really piqued my interest in the Dungeons and Dragons lineup because of how insane the mold is compared to a lot of Funko Pop molds. And I guess I'll mention, I guess at the same time, about the Glow in the Dark version as an honorable mention too, because let's face it, I didn't want to add either two or three gelatinous cubes, especially on a top five list and take up most of the spots. So at least I wanted to make it an honorable mention considering that this is kind of what piqued my interest for the Dungeons and Dragons pops. And now my number one pick for my favorite Dungeons and Dragons Funko Pop is the six inch mimic that was exclusive to GameStop. Now, this might be a little bit of a hot take because I can definitely see some people thinking that maybe a monster like Tiamat should deserve the number one spot because of the detail or even gelatinous cube because of how insane the molding is compared to a lot of Funko Pops. But I think it's mainly because of the genius behind the way they pulled off this monster that I think it deserved to be number one. Of course, Mimic in Dungeons and Dragons, it is a type of monster that basically, like in the name, it mimics anything. So it could be a treasure chest as shown actually in the Dungeons and Dragons movie trailer, or it can just be some sort of random object. But Funko utilized the idea of taking this kind of monster and mimicking one of their own products. In this case, it is mimicking a Funko Pop box, which I thought was just absolutely genius, which you can see that it's mimicking the Minsk and Boo, which was already a Funko Pop that was made, I believe, in the first wave of Dungeons and Dragons. So I thought it was really cool to execute the idea of you might be looking for this pop, let's say in a store, you go to grab it and it's not actually the pop, it's Mimic. So I thought it was really cool you add the teeth there with the tongue and then even the orange eyes that just really pop out well. And then of course, 
the D20 dice that it comes with it, that nice bluish purple color. I think they did an excellent job in executing the way that Mimic should be in the Funko world, which is why I think this is the best Dungeons and Dragons Funko Pop. Anyways, guys, that's gonna be the end of today's video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what Dungeons and Dragons Funko Pops do you wanna see made next? But anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. One, two, three, I'm out of here.